Greetings to you all and welcome to my channel once again. In this video, I will talk about the spiritual mentors of Pastor W.F. Kumoye. It will be surprising to see that no Nigerian pastor is among the spiritual fathers of this great man of God, but mainly international pastors. This man of God has three major spiritual mentors and we are going to talk about three of them. The first person among his spiritual mentors is John Wesley. John Wesley was a British evangelist who was a leader of a revival movement within the Church of England known as Methodism. The societies he founded from the Church of England became the Methodist Church that continues to this day. John Wesley married at the age of 48 to a widow by name Mary Vassell. Mary Vassell was a mother of four children to her first husband who was there. John Wesley and Mary Vassell had no children and Mary left him after 15 years. John Wesley had no child till his death. John Wesley was born on 28th of June 1703 in England and he died on 2nd of March 1791 in the same England at the age of 88. The next person among Pastor W.F. Kumuyi's mentors is Charles Spurgeon. Charles Spurgeon was a British preacher. He was very influential among Christians of various denominations during his time. He was known as the Prince of Preachers. He was married to Susanna Spurgeon and the couple had two children, Charles and Thomas Spurgeon, which were twins. He was born on 19th of June 1834 in England and he died on January 31st, 1892 in France at the age of 57. The last person in this list among W.F. Kumoye's spiritual mentors is Charles Finney. Charles Finney was an American Presbyterian minister. He was the leader in the Second Great Awakening in the United States. Charles Finney is known as the father of modern revivalism. Charles Finney was active as a revivalist from 1825 to 1835 in Jefferson County and for a few years in Manhattan. In 1830 to 1831, he led a revival in Rochester, New York that was noted among the revivals of the Second Great Awakening. After this revival, the whole community was stirred. The region became the topic of conversation in the house, in the shop, in the office, and on the streets. Alcoholic drink shops were closed. The Sabbath was honored. The sanctuaries were filled with happy worshippers. The foundations of benevolence the fountains of benevolence were opened and men lived to God. His religious views also led him to promote social reforms such as abolition of slavery and equal education for women and African Americans. From 1835, he taught at Oberlin College of Ohio, which accepted students without regards to race. Or sex. He served as the second president of Oberlin College of Ohio from 1851 to 1866, during which his students and faculty were activists for abolition of slavery. Charles Finney was twice a widower and married three times. His first and second wife died, and he married a third wife. Each of his three wives accompanied him on his revival tours and joined him in his evangelistic efforts. 
Charles Finney had six children. Charles Finney was born on 29th of August 1792 in Connecticut, U.S. and he died on 16th of August 1875 in Obelin, Ohio, U.S. He died at the age of 82. So these are the three main spiritual mentors to the Nigerian influential pastor W.F. Kumuye. We can recall that W.F. Kumuye, while speaking about his repentance, he said that when he got born again, he read books by John Wesley, Charles Finney, and Charles Spurgeon. Kumuye was influenced greatly by these three men of God. He had made mention of these three great men of God in several of his sermons from time to time. Looking at the way the ministry of W.F. Komoye has been influenced by these three great men of God, John Wesley, Charles Cochon, and Charles Finney, W.F. Komoye preaches the doctrine of restitution and sanctification like John Wesley, who was also known very well for such a doctrine. W.F. Komoye's famous style of arranging and dividing his messages into three points was also a style adopted by Charles Spurgeon, who was known in his day as the Prince of Preachers. Deeper Life Bible Church believed that acts of unrepentant sin and worldliness are signs that a person has not received the full salvation that Christ provides. This was also a belief and a method of preaching of Charles Finney. So these are the three main pastors that mentored Pastor Dr. Kumuyi and we can see that no Nigerian pastor is mentioned here. This is because by the time Kumuyi entered into ministry, most of the Nigerian pastors that we have today have not even gotten born again. As we know that W.F. Kumuyi is one of the oldest pastors that we have in the country. All these pastors are respected everywhere in the world today. They are celebrated in this our generation. But by going through both the past through why most of them were still in the world, we can see that most of them went through fire. Most of them went, went through different kinds of tribulation, different kinds of temptation, like we can see in some of these pastors that we have studied their lifestyles today. It was not easy for them, but they pressed on, like taking a look at the case of John Wesley. John Wesley married at the age of 48 to a widow. So this widow had four children for the first man that got married to her before John, before John Wesley married her. And at the end of everything, this widow didn't give birth for John Wesley and the lady left John Wesley after 15 years and throughout the life, throughout the days of John Wesley, John Wesley never had a child until he died. Now in that of Charles Spurgeon that lived and died at the age of 57, he faced a lot of opposition during his time for standing against slavery. He opposed slavery very well and this brought a lot of opposition to him and as a result of this so many of the people turned against him and it even led it got to a point that most of his members left his church why because he was against slavery which denies people of their rights of the rights given to them by the almighty god and in the case of charles finney that championed the second great awakening in the United States. This great man of God married three times. His first wife died, he had to remarry. He married again to a second wife and the second wife still died. At the end of everything, he took a third wife. And this is similar to some of the things happening to 
the great men of God that we have even in this our contemporary world like W.F. Kumuyi whose first wife died in 2009. He had to remarry and he took another wife. So thank you very much for watching this video. I so much appreciate your presence. I so much appreciate you for watching this video in my channel. I talk about the biographies, the lifestyles of most great men of God, of the great men of God, Nigerian men of God, and even international pastors. I talk about how they came to what they are today, what they passed through, how they started with God, how they overcame diverse temptation to get to the level and to what God has used them to achieve in the world. So please subscribe to my channel to be watching more of these type of videos. I love you so much. Thank you very well. Thank you so much. Share this video to your friends. Like it, subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you and bye for now. See you again in my next video.